Hi, my name is Heidi Shorts, and I'd like to welcome you to our first creative lettering art lesson. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the Word of God. He's the most important message that God could give us to be written on our hearts and in our lives. Isn't that an awesome connection? So we're going to begin, and we're going to begin with the Christmas season. We're thinking about the birth of Jesus. And so a good place for us to look as we think about our lettering is with a word, and the word we're going to look at is rejoice. Rejoice means to be full of joy. So we're going to take rejoice, and we're going to learn some lettering skills. The first thing that you need is some plain paper. You'll also need a number two pencil. You'll need a ruler. You'll need some colored pencils. We're also going to be using extreme colors. These are really special colored pencils, and we'll be using those as well. You'll also need a white eraser, and your last tool is a black light. If you don't have one of these, you can get one at the See the Light store. Let's get started. When you're an artist, you can turn your paper up and down, which is called portrait style, or you can turn it sideways, and that's called landscape. And for this lesson, we are doing landscape style. So what I'd like you to do is with your pencil and with your ruler if you'd like to, we're going to create two long parallel lines along the bottom of your paper. I have one long line here and one long line here. Now we're going to take our word rejoice and we're going to space it out so that each letter is even. We are going to start with the letter R. We have seven letters and we're going to start here at the beginning. I'm going to start at my top line. I'm going to draw a straight line from this down to this and stop. Then I'm going to come back up to the top and I'm going to make a nice big bump that comes around and stops at about the halfway point on this line. Now I'm going to do something kind of funny. I'm going to leave it alone. I know it looks like a P, but for right now we're going to leave this letter alone and we'll come back to it later. One more letter, a little bit of a scoot over, start at the top, straight down, across, across, and across. You've now created some simple block letters that are capitals. Now I know it's really bothering you. You're looking at this and saying, that P, that's not right. We need to make that into an R. Well, now's the chance for us to do that. We're going to come back to where the bump and the line meet. And instead of making a straight line like a lot of capitals, we're going to take this line and we're going to curve it slightly so that it comes down and around and under so that it frames the bottom of the letter E. Already you are starting to do some creative lettering. You are taking plain letters and you're dressing them up and giving them some personality. The next step is taking some lines and placing them to the side of each of our shapes. I'm going to start back at the beginning with the letter R and I'm going to come over a little ways from the first line that I created, and I'm going to make a line that is parallel to my first line. And then I'm going to connect the top and the bottom. So I've now made a thicker space to the left of my capital R. Uh-oh, what happens when we get to the O? I have nothing but curves. I don't have any straight lines. How do I do that? Well, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to be creating this space, but because we have the curve, it's going to be the widest on the sides and the narrowest at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to start here at the top. I'm going to swing my arm around. I'm going to give myself a nice wide space here and then come back around to where it's skinny on the bottom again. And then I'm going to repeat on the opposite side. Start at the top, nice and wide on the side, and skinny at the bottom. I'm going to come back over because I think I want to add a little more weight to my letter R. Now that we know how to do curves, I'm going to make a curve on this bump here. Wider in the middle, narrower, where my two points start and stop. And I think I want to make some, a little, just a little more weight here on this curve. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start skinny here, wider here, and skinnier near the bottom. We're going to add a little bit of math here. We're going to add some triangles. At the top of my R, at the very beginning, I'm going to come over a little ways 
and back over to my shape so that I have a little bitty triangle. I'm going to come down to the bottom. Straight line out from the bottom. Connect it to that nice thick place that we just created a little while ago. Over to the other side. Straight line, angled line. Now we have three triangles that have now given some more definition to our letter R. And now I'll do the same thing with my E as I did here. I'm going to come down with an angle, straight line, back with an angle, straight line, and now my little triangle right there in the middle. What I'd like you to do is choose a color that you like to color in all those spaces that you've created. So while you're doing that, I am going to flip my page over and I'm going to show you what it looks like in color. So after you've colored in all of your letters, you're ready for us to do the O. We're going to do something special with this letter O. We're going to illuminate what is going to take place in the center of the O. Now rejoice, as we've said, ties in with Christmas. And we think about the birth of baby Jesus. And so we're going to be drawing baby Jesus within the outline of our letter O. We're going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to create a nice big bump down here. And actually, that's going to represent the body of the baby. So now we have a regular black pencil. And I'm going to back, go back in. I'm going to give Jesus sleepy eyes. I'm going to give him a little bit of hair. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put some folds in the fabric so that it stands out. OK? And we're going to come back in now, and now's a great time for us to color in that letter and complete this stage of our lettering. Awesome. OK. Now, as wonderful as this is looking, we're not quite done yet. We're going to add some more guidelines for one very special element in our creative lettering, and that's the Star of Bethlehem. Above Jesus, we're going to put a star high up in the sky. Here's one long leg. And here's the other long leg. Now comes the fun part. We're going to go back to our extreme colors. And we're going to be filling in that star and those rays of light with these great bright colors. And then I'm going to come down here by my guidelines. And I'm going to make some rays shining down. This is going to be one bright star. The Star of Bethlehem was a very bright star. So you have now creatively written the word rejoice. You have Jesus in the center of the word. Great place for him to be, just like he should be in the center of our lives. And now we're going to have fun. Time for you to pull out your black light and let's see what we have. And with your extreme colors and the black light, you now have the light of the world. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson today. I hope that you gained some skills that you can use again. Think about words that you want to write, have fun practicing, and have a Merry Christmas.